Hi, I'm Antoinette and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, lately I've been talking about Metro Detroit, Macomb County specifically, but today we're gonna talk about five things that you may not like about Macomb County and why you should just avoid it altogether. Now, I live here and I love it. I enjoy living here, um, but there are some things that may not sit well with you. So let's talk about it. things that I hear a lot about Macomb County that people do not like is the cost of living. Uh, and that can be true depending on where you live uh, and compared to other cities in other counties um, in Michigan, the cost of living can be kind of high. I mean, you have to take into consideration uh, the extra fees that, they, that are thrown into things like your water bill. And when uh, streets are not fixed, there's gonna be extra wear and tear on your cars and there's a lot of driving here. So um, cost of living is probably the number one thing that I hear people complain about, especially when they move from um, Wayne County or Genesee County or somewhere outside of Macomb County um, into Macomb County. They just say the cost of living is a little higher than what they're used to. Another thing that I hear uh, a lot of complaints about are our roads. Now in Michigan, the roads are an issue all the time because we do have snow and we use salt to dissolve that snow and it does have wear on our roads. Um, that's something that if you're not from a place like Michigan or where there's a lot of snow, you will have to get used to that because it's just how it is. Um, but with the roads being torn, um, there comes wear and tear on your vehicles, like I said, so that's a complaint. Um, there is a complaint about uh, the roads being fixed every year. We do a thing around here and around a lot of places in Michigan where we patch holes in the road, um, which causes extra, con uh, extra congestion because of that construction, and it doesn't last. Uh, so then the very next year you're doing it again or uh, finally, they will reconstruct the road and that takes a lot of time and of course people are going to complain. So you're going to be mad that your car is getting uh, bumps and bruises because of the roads, but you're also going to be mad when they start to fix those road and roads and then it adds extra time um, to back and forth to and from work and school drop offs and things like that. Uh, so I don't know, it can't really win, but roads around here do get uh, it gets frustrating a big complaint is the just congestion of the area homes are close together keep in mind there are areas in the county where there's more land but um the area where a lot of the stores are restaurants are they're pretty congested the homes are good sizes but they are close together so the congestion i can't say that it's slowing down because there are new builds going up all the time i mean that's good if you want to move into macomb county there's going to be a house built for you but if you already live here or if you don't like uh, close quarters or your homes close together there are a few uh, cities in macomb county that i would just avoid <music> Okay, so another thing that I hear complaints about from people in the area, this is actually something that uh, you will hear if you're close to um, Detroit overall, and that is the cost of your car insurance. The car insurance is very high just because of your location. So keep that in consideration if you're moving to Metro Detroit area and you're doing your calculations about the cost of living, you may wanna add a little bit more money or talk to your insurance person about how much your car insurance will go up living in Metro Detroit. Now, the last thing I will touch on that I hear some complaints about is the activities for our teens and young adults. So I'm talking about, you know, 13 to 17 high school students. Um, I get a lot of complaints from parents and from my kids. Of course, we have uh, malls and Partridge Creek, which I've talked about in previous videos, but just a place for teens to hang out 
that's something you really don't see that much in Macomb County. Now, if you know of a place besides CJ Barrymore's, then let me know. We need more activities for our teens. And a lot of our schools do uh, have, you know, a variety of sports, including esports. So that's something that's becoming more popular. But outside of school for activities for our kids to do and places for them to hang out, maybe that's something we need to work on. That's about it. Five reasons to avoid Macomb County altogether. If any of those are just deal breakers for you, then you know Macomb County may not be the place for you. And that's okay because there's plenty of other counties in Metro Detroit that may fit what you need. So be sure to subscribe. I'm always uh, putting in a new video every week and you don't want to miss it. So subscribe so you can uh, know when the next video comes along. Until next time.